Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance here on Serious Gaming. I'm gonna head to Talonberg to turn in the hide that I got, the deer hide that I got, and I'm gonna go back to Merhoyed to see what the situation is there. Assuming that the quest hasn't bugged out, hopefully it hasn't. Though I wonder where I could get into another fight to... So far I've avoided fist fights in uh, Talonberg and in uh, Sasau. Might be some in Ladeshko, who knows. Uh, I'm not entirely certain. And it's safe as houses. Come on. Stop and talk a while at least. Talk about what? Uh, quick! Quick! Before he gets away! All right, I'll need to get some food once I'm here in Talonberg. Energy, I'm pretty fine. I guess I could wait until morning and then go to the baths. It's free anyway. Is it? Now, I would expect, given that I'm going from one place to another, covering great distances, all that, uh, that I would... Uh, this guy's still bugged though. That's really <laughs> frustrating to be honest. Oh, and I'm not losing nourishment or energy because I'm standing still in a spot. I think they should tone, tone it down, not remove it completely, but I do think they should tone it down significantly when it comes to uh, the stats, the character stats. Not the um, armor or weapons, but the character stats, they should absolutely tone it down. They're just simply too powerful. Now, persuasion should more or less remain as is, but... Welcome, Henry. Uh, there can be some problems with that uh, as well. I should probably stop by Merhoya, then then Ladeshko, then go to back to Sasso. You know, at one point, I think I'll just go on a rampage in a village or a town or whatever, just butcher every single person living in it, just to see what happens. Because I very much doubt the town guards would be able to stop me, honestly. But I don't know. God save you. What can I do for you? I've got those hides you wanted. Now that's what I call quality. That'll do me just fine. Here. You've earned a bit of coin. Couldn't you use some hides? I'm in need of boar hides, believe it or not. They don't make very good leather, but the cobbler uses it to make cheap shoes. And there's a lot of demand before autumn. Hey! 
What are you doing here? Oh, free boar hides. Okay. Right. Well, that's more or less it. I'm gonna stop by Ladeshko and then I'll head to Sas. Well, Merhoya actually first. I mean, it has been several days since I last came here, so I think they should have recovered by now. I'm honored that a knight such as you I'm honored the How's it looking, Melakar? I'm glad to see you, Henry. I'd like to thank you again. Everyone is cured. It's nothing short of a miracle. Oh, that's a relief. You've suffered enough. We've all suffered enough. God's truth. You know, the folk here are truly grateful. They'd have you and Nicodemus canonized if they could. They brought me gifts for the two of you. I wasn't keen on the idea at first. We're not left with much since the livestock died. But since you're here... Well, that's kind of them. Give them my thanks. Sure. They'll be glad you stopped by. Well, I did go far and above to help them. So, getting paid for it, getting a reward for it is just fine. Do I need it? No. And that's just the honest truth. But I will not say no to some coin, really. And I understand that they don't have much left, but hey, they're alive at least. And they're alive because of me. Oh, wait, I didn't discuss it with him. <coughs> Shit. Either way, it's fine. I'll just go to that. And deal with Matt, Matthew and Fritz later. I thought I had. But I guess I was wrong. Well, I actually did once. But then I think I uh, lost that particular save and I didn't do it again. It's really raining cats and dogs at the moment. The rain is so thick I can barely see, or I struggle seeing. Either way. To be fair, with rain this, um, with this kind of a downpour, it would probably limit your visibility by quite a bit. And no muddy roads, how convenient. Well, well, the moment. Ooh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. That fucking killed me. 
No, legitimately almost killed me. Hold on. Oh, come on, Henry, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Okay. Ugh. Shame I can't swim. I hope I can be a... I've got some... All right. I'd like you certainly. I want you. Well, listen. Have you heard of any recruiters looking for men in Sasa? Aye. And where can I find them? And will they speak with me? And what do you want with them? Never mind. Listen to me carefully. Tomorrow night there'll be a light in the Sasa church, and the door will be open. Go in and start praying our Father. And how will that help me with the recruiters? That's what the prayer is for. Just wait until the church is lit up at night. Kneel before the altar and they'll find you. Got it? Of course. And thank you for the help. The Lord will repay you. Alright. So. Okay. Well, I did ask Simon. Yeah, he doesn't have anything more. Okay. Let me go to Sasso. Well, the guy I helped in the infirmary might be a, of some use to me.
Yeah. What's going on? How are you doing? Feeling better yet? Aye, much better. I'm truly grateful. A bit longer and I'll be able to run back to the woods and carry on. Well, never mind. Very kind of you to look in on me. Truth be told, I didn't come just for your health. What do you need? Well, I've heard tell there's work for fearless men who enjoy a bit of silver. Ah, I believe I can help you with that. They used to frequent the tavern, but now they meet in the church. The church? Aye, that's right. The church is locked at night, but if you see a light, the door will be open. Go in there and wait. Say a prayer or something, and then you'll see. That's it? I don't need to speak to anyone? Just doing what I told you is enough. They'll give you a good look over and see if you've got the medal. Don't you worry about that. All right, thank you. You took care of me. Why wouldn't I help you? Tit for tat, eh? I heard you had a fight with Fritz and Matthew. Heathens. So it was you they fought with? Yes, it was me. And I hope I'll never have to see those wastrels again. They deserve to be ousted, but the debt? How are they ever going to pay it? I really don't care. Let them live in penury. Brutes. I'm surprised you see it that way. They only talk about you with respect. Really? Them? Of course. They said you fight like a bull. And they hope you'll have a beer with them sometime again. Well, definitely. Men will fight sometimes. I'm sure we'll settle this debt somehow. Alright, I need to talk with Fritz. I'm gonna go, uh... Right, over there. I need to eat something, anything. Amen. So, you've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. 
Is that so? And where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Oh, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that. But he still said more than he should have. I know my way around. You won't go wrong with me. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight. But not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? No, not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. Who's Pius? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway, because it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. I'll have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys? It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Oh, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister, or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest, but it didn't quite work out. And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? But you'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of St. Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. Murder someone in a monastery? Have you gone mad? <laughs> Murder's a sin as it is. Doesn't really matter where you do it. Yes, it does. I'd be spilling blood on hallowed ground. <laughs> well then, knock him senseless, drag him outside, and finish him off where it's less sacred. I don't give a damn where you do it, just as long as he ends up dead. How will I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well-dressed and had a fine-looking dagger. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk. Then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> Where better? There's more wine there than in the royal cellars. And I doubt he suddenly stopped drinking. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. And now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. 
Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money, and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. <sighs> well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to run off, all right? The key? Okay. Who's there? God be with you, Henry. What is it? Damn!
Welcome, Henry. Are you serious? Be a bit more careful. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Sir Radzig, I believe you know Sir Wolflin of Camberg. I do. We once had a rather amusing encounter. Such a shame he's turned to robbing and pillaging. How did the mission go, anyway? An amusing encounter, sir. It happened before we went to Poland. I hired Wolflin as a mercenary to help deal with the royal matter. We were laying siege to Herstein Castle because the Lord there had been collecting tolls on the royal highway. It was winter, and the mountain passes were knee-deep in snow. There was no way to get reinforcements or supplies to us. So, we were in a bit of a fix. There was a strong garrison at the castle, and they had more food than we. By chance, the lady of the castle, Ophelia, arrived and wanted to get inside. Her carriage got stuck in a snowdrift, and being chivalrous knights, we rescued her. Then Wolfling got the idea we would hold Lady Ophelia hostage in exchange for Lord Herstein's surrender along with his men. We even promised him we would let her go inside first. But they could easily have broken their promise once the lady was inside and refused to surrender, couldn't they? Of course. We expected it. And we had something up our sleeve. It was snowing heavily and the visibility was low. So they didn't notice it wasn't Lady Ophelia in the carriage, but Wolflin in disguise. As soon as the gate closed behind the carriage, Lord Herstein came and gloated at us from the battlements. Only in the meantime, Wolflin killed the whole escort and opened a side gate in the walls where we were waiting. After that, it was all over in minutes. So tell me, what happened with him? Wolfen asked me to give you his regards. And he said if you're going to march against Sigismund, you should let him know. My God, it's a fine state of affairs when even outlaws want to march under my banner. Perhaps it's not such a bad thing, my lord. It's good to know he's still loyal to you after all these years. You're probably right. We parleyed with them and they pulled out. How did Bernard feel about that? I think he was ready to bite Wolflin's head off. He wasn't happy about it. But I told him Sir Hanish wanted the matter solved without bloodshed, if possible. I'm glad you did. I'll be going. Sir, this investigation into the Neuhof massacre... It's getting a bit complicated. What have you found out? I tracked down a gang of robbers who recruited killers for Pribislavitz. They know the Horsons who torched Neuhof. That's excellent news. Did you find out any more? So far, not much. If I'm going to infiltrate them, I have to do what they say. That means murdering one of their former cronies, a fellow they call Pius. Apparently he was at Neuhof too. You have to kill a criminal to prove yourself to them? Huh. I don't much like the sound of it. 
That's not the worst of it. This pious is hiding out in the monastery pretending to be a novice. I'd have to get inside the cloisters to get at him. <laughs> Good God above, that's another matter entirely. They don't let just anyone into the cloisters, and the abbot won't give up any of the novices. Secular law has no jurisdiction inside the monastery. But this is the second time that something untoward has happened there. First the counterfeiters, now this. I'd be glad to have someone take a look inside. It seems like the only way to find Pius is to join the Order. Damned if I know how, though. A bit of meditation and learning would do you good. If it's really the only way to get to him, then you'll have to do it. I'm sorry I can't be of much help. Sadly, my relations with the monastery aren't entirely congenial. You'll have to figure something out for yourself. What should I do with Pius once I find him? Don't kill him. Bring him to the bailiff in Rate. He'll interrogate the man and give him a fair trial. It doesn't sound like an easy task, sir. Getting into the cloisters, finding Pius, and then getting him to the bailiff. Far from it, lad. But I have confidence in your abilities. Hmm? Damn. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Fritz, talk with him, and then finish that entire quest, assuming I can. There's a whole discussion there to be had. Then I'm gonna find some way to infiltrate the monastery. How's it going? Good money, eh? What? What money? Oh, uh, uh, look, yeah, go and talk to Matthew first. Well, all right. About your brawl with Elias. Your best friend settled the matter. You're serious? Absolutely. All you have to do is go to him and promise you'll pay the debt somehow. We... We won't forget this. Oh, my honour. Thanks. Here's your share. Here we are. My share of what? What the hell are you on about? Well, that thing with Thomas, uh, somehow his ring ended up with us. Here. Are you out of your tiny mind? If anyone finds out you robbed him, we'll all be fucked. Take it easy. It wasn't theft exactly. We all know he stole that ring himself. So if it comes out, he'll be in the shit too. He'll keep his mouth shut. Where did you find someone willing to buy and not ask too many questions? It wasn't easy. But then Fritz thought of Andrew. Andrew? The innkeeper here. They say all sorts of things about him. And how did it go with him? Well, first he didn't seem too keen. But when he saw the ring, he bought it off us. Actually, I'm not surprised. After all, we'll spend all the money on booze here anyway. What now? What will you do next? Now that you mention it... Uh, out with it then. What have you thought up now? I can't help myself. It's force of habit. We tried to be good at Sassal. So good that you punched a novice in the mouth. Exactly. We broke our backs working in the mill. While you eyed up the miller's daughter. And they drove us out. The only worthwhile thing we did recently was give that wastrel a thrashing, take his ring, and sell it to Andrew. I'm not sure I like where you're going with this. And where's that? No one in the country gives How a damn you, about Henry? the law. 
And if we knock some thief over the head in the woods, or ambush some wagon with supplies for Sigismund's soldiers, I won't lose any sleep over it. It's still robbery. Wake up, for Christ's sake! It's war! They skewered your parents, didn't they? Coming. They fucking burned down our fucking village, didn't they? Don't you give a damn about that? Of course I fucking do. And now, there's a herd of swine ransacking skeletons. Those fuckers are trampling over the ashes of Jeremiah, and Desmond, and Siegfried, and Tristan. Let's chop those bastards to pieces, one after the other. I can't let it go, Hal. Even if I have to do it on my own, I'll put the fear of God into those bastards. We'll strike fear into the fuckers. <sighs> I knew we could rely on you, Hal. I knew it. I was wondering, did we all get equal shares? No, you got less, but still plenty. Well, all right then. So, what's the plan? Well, I thought Andrew the innkeeper here could help us, but he's nervous. Best ask Fritz. He sorted out selling the ring, and he knows Andrew better. All right, I'll do that. How are you? Why do we need Andrew at all? Without him, there'll be more left for us. In case you haven't noticed, everybody and his brother goes through this inn. Andrew knows everything that goes on in the county. And we'll have to fence the loot somewhere, and that's no easy matter. I hear you've got a plan to fleece the local villains. Be nice, wouldn't it? Otherwise we soon won't have a pot to piss in. And the innkeeper here could lend a helping hand? Exactly. So what's the problem? Uh, he reckons we're not up to it. You, you should try and talk him into it. You were always good at that. Oh, and tell him I sent you, so he doesn't send you packing. Do you know how I might set about convincing Andrew? Mention money. That's all? Aye. Often the innkeeper's as greedy as they come. Greetings. Fritz sent me. I'd like to talk about... Ah, you'd like some wine from my cellar? I have it right here, in the back. That's right. Show me the way. Fritz sent me. Look, lad, I'm fond of Fritz. I knew his old ma, but Matthew, he's insane. Robbing people. Only those that deserve it. And you think his lordship won't mind? Have you any idea the kind of shit you can get into? I don't believe you're up to it. Why don't you believe us? There's four of us, and there's a fucking war on. If we're careful, no one will catch us. Hmm. We'll see if you're up to it. You'll need a disguise. What disguise? Use your head. You can never be sure no one will see you. Nah, yeah, that's true. We'll have to put on some other clothes, or... Dress up as humans! What? It's obvious, isn't it? Everyone knows they're looting. If someone's robbed by humans, no one will investigate. Hmm, that's true. 
But I'll have to get some human clothes. A captain's. And three sets of them. What? On account of the helmets. No one will recognize you with them on. And where the hell am I supposed to get it? There's gangs of humans around skeletons. I've got a good idea where to find them from. Uh, passers by. I'm supposed to attack a human camp. A minute ago, you were full of yourself. And now, all of a sudden, you've lost your nerve. But the whole fucking camp? Oh, scouts are deserters. Most likely the ones who are trying to skive off or take easy pickings. And even humans have to sleep. Out of, are you out of your fucking mind? All right, Grashen. Okay. Well, I kind of regret getting rid of that shit. Right. Absolute insanity aside, by the way. Masquerade, get free. Go to the west camp, go to the east camp. Go. Uh, okay, this, that. It's quite a bit, isn't it? Get hold of free hu human helmets with uh, face plates. Get hold of free suits of human armor. I need to slaughter the whole lot of them, it seems. Well, this entire plan is a great piece of idiocy. That's why I'm gonna go along with it. Costine, sign you out.